Here is everything you need to remember about Bartlett's study in 1932 about schemas. This study is about British participants being asked to recount a Native American story. Let's get started. So Bartlett was the one to coin the term schema in the first place, and he hypothesized in this research that culture will affect schemas, which in turn will impact memory. The procedure for this study was British participants were asked to read and recreate a Native American story called War of the Ghosts. The reason for this is that British participants would be unfamiliar with the language and the context used in a story of Native American origin. Things such as language and cultural cues would be unfamiliar to them and may cause them to remember them incorrectly. Results show that when participants were asked to reproduce the story, they often changed details of the story to better fit with their own existing cultural schema. Some examples of this are names that were Native American in origin were often changed to different names that may better fit the existing schema of a British person. Another example is details that were not culturally aligned with their schemas were often omitted or left out because they were not able to remember them as well. So this study was able to find that participants tend to alter things that they hear to better fit their existing schemas. Additionally, they also found that participants tend to leave out or downplay things that are not culturally significant with them. For example, things like supernatural elements that are not as big of a part of British culture. Bartlett was able to conclude that remembering is an active process and that memories are not copies, but rather they are reconstructions. I hope you found this helpful and you were able to learn a little bit more about how schemas work and Bartlett's role in all of this. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and share it with your friends so we can reach as many IB students as possible. Bye!